can interrogate me with torture, nigga. I won't confess at all. I'll just keep on crying. Keep on sobbing. Ask me any question. My head will keep on bobbing. You think I'm saying yes for the first few seconds. Till you realize I'm in my own world. Thinking of your girl naked. <laughs> I'm a federal nightmare. I'm a small motherfucker who ain't scared to fight fair. That's Scott Williams for you. The comedian actor is known for fearlessly revealing Hollywood's deepest, darkest secrets. And everyone loves him for that. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. Do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. But I'm not scared of being the competition. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, and see if that factors in. I guarantee you it won't. All of these shortcut takers, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my p in front of all my people at my agency. I told him no, what y'all do? And this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian, but in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I'm not taking the shortcuts. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. God has his eyes set on Diddy and is adamant in exposing his evil deeds for the whole world to see. Right. I want no, you tell it. No, you're, you're no I want you to tell it. You really are the best. You're proving it here today. <laughs> as much as I'm proving it, you're proving it. You're proving it. Um, yeah, that wasn't the thing. It wasn't, people say that. He lost $50 million. No, no, that's not even close to what happened to this dude. And until you understand what happened to the dude, you don't understand what happened. Like, no, not they offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now, I've had to turn down 50 million dollars four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, them so I need, freely. Kid, kid, I need, kid, I need know. You here, get your Thank you, too, sir. Kid. Thank you. Come Cat on. Williams apparently has psychic powers as fans are sure that the comedian tried to warn people about Sean Diddy Combs, alleged wild parties a long time ago. If you in the ATL and a nigga doing drugs in the ATL, the nigga at least excuse himself, go to the bathroom or some shit. Niggas in Hollywood just do the drugs right in front of you and act like ain't shit happened. You in the middle of a goddamn meeting. They, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the movie with you and then we're gonna, we're gonna go back. <laughs> Nigga, did you know that I can see you? Nigga, you right there, it's on your nose. Nigga, what? Motherfuckers be gay in Hollywood, you never fucking expected. They be having these big ass mansion parties, and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party, and then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that goddamn long. I'm excited in a motherfucker to be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the goddamn rooms, and you fuck around and look in the wrong room and shit. Nigga, come here, come here. Is that two niggas kissing? Is one of them niggas Professor Obi? <laughs> he came out the closet, he came out the closet. Oh my God, a rubber, rubber. Nigga and Will Smith, you told me before that she was at a party before that they attended and you said the party was weird. Tell me about that. Okay, uh, this is Boxer. His name Twan, he's from our neighborhood. He, he was married to uh, Tanisha Arnold. So the bra played Pam on uh, Martin Lawrence. We went to the party with her. I mean, it was a matter of fact, it was a set it off party. Jada Pickett, Pippa Capaz, all of them was there. So Sam. It was just, uh, seemed like 
Puff and Tupac it was like a couple, seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on, you know what I'm saying? If I ain't there, I guess that, that's what Tupac was talking about, the Illuminati and shit. It's like Vivica Fox was with this big gay man. He was 6'9". They called him, his name 6'9". He had the red hair with a big old booty and shit. Nobody was gay no more. What the fuck is going on here? It's just a lot of, a lot of weird shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? That shit, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's what Tupac, I guess he wanted to get up out of the Illuminati or something. But I, I seen her yet. Matter of fact, MC Light pulled off with Tanisha Arnold. You know what I'm saying? In her brand new 560, black one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that shit weird, dude. Yeah, that's some weird ass shit going on, you know? Yeah. And what was Tupac doing at the party, yo? Him and Puff was there together. They was there, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't know how they fucking fell out or nothing like that. They was road dogs, you know what I'm saying? He ain't even got pictures of him. He got on that uh uh that blue sweater with the turtleneck. Him and him hugged up like this with the black hat. Have you ever seen that picture? Nah, I don't recall, but I'm pretty sure I came across it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That picture there, that they was at that party that day. Yeah, that's just like a bunch of weird shit. That whole fucking Yeah, that shit weird, dude. Yeah. Bunch of uh, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not no gay bash or nothing. I mean, none of that shit, but that shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that whole party was weird old out. Yeah, and it was Jada Pickett, but. You saying that, you saying the whole party was weird. What did you see at the party that made it weird? I mean, I'm confused. I guess it was the Illuminati. It's just weird. I know I wouldn't want to be part of no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm from the old school, dude, and uh, that shit wasn't really tolerated with my generation, you know what I'm saying? Those same parties that led to the raid of his homes in L.A. and Miami. Then detain those three people inside. We haven't seen any signs of P. Diddy himself. Again, we're hearing that he is possibly in New York, uh, but several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, very chaotic scene when all of this happened. Uh, lots of, um, of neighbors wondering what's going on, of course, and uh, we'll keep you updated, but it's definitely going to be quite a scene here for the remainder of the day. When you see this number of law enforcement agencies coming together, making this type of raid to such a big, high-profile mansion like this, in a neighborhood like this as well, this is very thought out, methodical, planned out for days. So they base this on a number of information gathering that they've received and evidence or what they're looking for. So clearly, this is not something they do lightly. They really go th through the process of making sure that everything is ready before they conduct a raid like this so yes this took a lot of planning for all these multiple agencies to come together to actually now conduct a type of raid like this three states working in tandem and they did not tell the officers who they were raiding they went in tactical as they were instructed to they didn't know they was raiding diddy's house the higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fed informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit. So they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. If that's why you see the guns. That the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner from uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids to the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, his sons were there and he was not there at the house's own. Um, yeah. And he was, was quiet. the worst part of that. And to see his sons being How hacked. How do you force your kids to do your perp walk? That was, the, that was the worst part. And all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm. The girls. Just, her son. He left their son to be walked out backwards on camera for the world to see. He also predicted that 2024 would likely be the year 
when all the deviants will be exposed. All of these uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is, TG Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I didn't have no more of these. Amen, amen. Williams insisted that he has been collecting information and people and their secrets. He targeted multiple celebrities, including actor Kevin Hart and rapper Chris Ludacris, Bridges. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA? and in his first year in LA he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. Kevin Hart said, gotta get that anger up out your chair. It's honestly sad. In the meantime, please enjoy my movie trailer to my next film, Lift, which will be dropping on Netflix in eight days. There's a moment in the trailer where Gagumba the Raw says, they really love you. I know she's talking about Cat. Mark your calendars, world. This one is special. Cat Williams made the claim during an interview with Vlad TV, a platform known for its in-depth and often controversial interviews with celebrities. In this interview, Williams suggested that Diddy had underground tunnels connected to his mansion, which he implied were used for secretive or potentially evil activities. LED was, I was with him every day before he went. Yvette Wilson was living in my house when I'm saying, I'm not, I'm, I'm saying, talk I'm to saying, us, talk to us, it's a different tell Hollywood story. than the Hollywood. And the reason you don't know these stories is there's no one to tell you these stories because you can't make me tell them. That's right. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying it's always like Porter said, controversial cat. Yeah, you know what I mean? Should be. Where cat being? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is he better than Jamie? Is he, no. be is he better than Kevin Hart? No. Uh, is he, is he oh, better yeah. than Dave Chappelle? You know? cold. Well, I like that that you say that, but well, your we fans take it have another a way. Of We're your fans. We think you cold. Prove my point. Well, that's why I said your fans have a difference of opinion. But Dave Chappelle was decapitated in front of us. And until we deal with that, until we deal with um, <laughs> the fact that a devout Muslim who doesn't eat bacon was accused of being a crackhead, until we, until we <laughs> establish the fact that they said that he went to Africa to smoke cocaine when we know they don't have running water and food over there, when they don't have paved roads over there, you saying he flew past Chicago and Miami and LA and New York and Detroit. You said he went past Cleveland and Fort Pierce, Florida, and he went past Okeechobee and Oakland. You said he went to another there. country yeah, where they're not eating. Right. You talking about somebody who has a wife and children, five children, and lives on a farm, doesn't live here in Hollywood. You saying you oh, convinced yeah. people that person wow. was an insane crackhead wow. and he hasn't been on movies and TV for eight years? Is that correct? Wow. Okay, then don't tell me about what you want to tell me about. I just watched you decapitate the king in front of me. From sabotaging careers to starting rumors, the mogul's actions are under observation. Buffy has been pushed out of revolt amid new accusations from employees. And all of the allegations, um, but there are clearly going to be some repercussions, and now they're feeling it at one of his companies in his empire, and that is... One of his biggest, actually. Yeah, uh, Revolt TV. Um, we found out this morning that uh, Diddy is stepping down temporarily. As chairman, temporarily. That's yeah. They do. They are. I, I think it is important to note that they say temporarily. Right. Uh, he is stepping down, which always made me think immediately. Well, when do you come back? Right. Um, <laughs> and that's the tough thing that he's got to juggle now because he's clearly Diddy is plugged in and he knows what people are talking about. Court of public opinion, obviously. The, D the Cassie lawsuit is settled, but these other two, um, we don't know what's going to happen. They, they, linger, they right. may end up in court. Guys, I think this is a very big deal. I do not think this is just, it doesn't sound to me like somebody who's just doing something to temporarily get out of the way while they resolve a couple cases. The fact he's stepping down, to me, means that these lawsuits are not going to go away immediately, he doesn't mm. think. 
and maybe you know he's concerned that other people might come out of the woodwork. He has said this is purely a money grab. You take him at his word that he thinks that. You know if worse comes to worse, but Diddy's getting what's coming for him, and let's hope he's prepared.